Hey everybody, I am so excited to be here today with Esther Rose Neal. And I'm interviewing her today with regard to Freedom Tense. If you have not heard about this, Freedom Tense is gonna be amazing. So Esther, what the heck is Freedom Tense? Freedom Tense is just an amazing place that we're gonna gather outside the church walls. We're gonna usher in God's presence and allow people to encounter Him, to encounter Him for salvation, healing, deliverance. We're gonna worship and that's gonna be the foundation and then we're gonna have some amazing evangelists just kind of sharing their hearts over the people and giving opportunity for people to respond in various ways. So it's, it's gonna be really amazing. So tell me, how did Freedom Tents like evolve or where did that happen? Where did it start? Like, how did you get this idea uh, called Freedom Tents? Well, 13 years ago, um, I was asked the question, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? And immediately God gave me a vision of tent revivals. And I've held that in my heart this whole time, thinking that would be great someday when I have this, you know, big team and when God opens up the heavens, but with everything that's been going on and as I've been seeking his heart, he put it really strong that now is the time. So I'm stepping out, I'm giving my whole yes to Jesus, and we're getting ready to launch Freedom Tents. Wow. So you had this vision from the Lord about Freedom Tents. And I heard like healing and salvation and deliverance and encouragement and hope yes. and so much of what our world needs right now. I mean, we're shooting this video today right in the middle of probably the most chaotic um, upheaval in history with COVID-19 and all that's going on. I'm not surprised that God said, Esther, now is the time. Yeah. And so I know that this is something much bigger than Celebration Church. Yes. So t talk a little bit about your vision in terms of the whole region and what that looks like. Yeah, it's really not just about one church. It's really about God wanting to step outside of our church walls to reach people with the message of Jesus, with hope, with the healing that they need, that they don't even realize who has the healing for them where true freedom lies is in Jesus, in Him. And so really my heart is that other churches and other leaders would want to partner with us and get involved and see what God can do through us unifying as we gather in His name, as we encourage and lift people up to um, be able to receive everything that God has for them in their lives. And also I received many words that this isn't just for this region, but it's gonna start to spread. It's gonna spark other people and it's gonna spread all across the United States. So I'm so excited what God wants to do with this. And I, I just really ask and pray that he would put it upon the leader's hearts and the church's hearts that would want to help get the word out to people, that would want to help come and be part of this with us and see how God wants to transform people's lives. So I've been on vacation. I just got back. This is kind of funny because I know we've been walking this journey together and you were kind of sharing a little bit about the vision last spring and this and that. And then I'm on vacation and then all this marketing and social media stuff is coming and everything. And I'm like, wow, I guess it's happening now. And I know that as I was praying and thinking about it, on the heels of Saturate OC, we've just yeah. completed, I think it was five or six weeks um, of Saturate OC, um, and they're moving into a different transition. I thought, Lord, like I'm feeling such anointing as mm -hmm. I'm even talking about this. I felt like this mm -hmm. is like a one-two punch, like Freedom Tents coming right on the heels of Saturate OC. Like this is what God is doing. And I know as a, a leader in the region, I want to speak to other pastors and leaders in the region, and I really want to encourage you. Holy Spirit is on these kinds of regional moments where the Holy Spirit's saying, gather together as a body. I know there was 80 plus churches involved with Saturate OC. We'd love to see the same thing happen with Freedom Tents, where we gather together as a body. People are getting saved. People are getting baptized. We're even talking about, well, we'll get cow troughs and yes. you know, pour <laughs> bottles of water over people, like whatever it takes, because yes. we want to see people come into the kingdom. 
get saved, have an encounter with Jesus, receive his love, get healed, delivered, set free. And then, of course, we want to see them really become disciples. So I'm so excited about this vision, Esther. In closing, what would you like to say to, to those that are watching this video? Well, that this is such an important time that we're living in. This is really an opportunity, a now season, like a Kairos moment, however you want to say it. And the thing is, is that this isn't any, not for any one person's platform. This is about the church coming together and reaching people that need him desperately. And so I am so excited to meet you for us to come together and to do this thing together that we can see our whole region transformed, Orange County transformed, California transformed, and the United States transformed in the power and love and glory of the name of Jesus. And so if you want to find out more information, please visit the website. It's www.freedomtents.org. We also have a page on Facebook and we're on Instagram. We have um, different things that we can get to you to share this with your friends and your sphere and your churches. So please contact us. We'd love to hear from you and we would love for you to be a part of what God's doing at Freedom Tents. All right, everybody, we encourage you to get plugged in. Ask Holy Spirit what role you're supposed to play. We need we need a great group of people to come together to make this thing come to pass. So we encourage you. Let's get plugged in. Let's do this together. Let's continue this wave of revival that's sweeping across Orange County and beyond. And I know that Esther's already gotten requests to take Freedom Tents, you know, up to the Central Valley. Like this thing is going to go, and we want to, we want you to be a part of it. So God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. And any last word? Yeah, I just wanted to say that the very first Freedom Tents is going to be September 12th at 3 p.m. in San Juan Capistrano. So all the information is on the website. We look forward to seeing you there. God bless you. God bless.